hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in this session we are going to check how we can easily export the information from spring boot application to csv file by using open csv library so for this example we are going to use spring jpa and write the response into csv so generally there are different libraries available in order to export the data one is like uh, open csv another like a super csv library by using that like uh, we can able to export the information into desired excel or csv format so that we are going to check so for this i am referring my blog so blog link is provided into video description so now what is open csv so open csv is easy to use a comma separated values parser library for java and java 8 is a minimum supported version for open csv so in this uh, session, so we are going to use technologies like uh, Java 17, then OpenCSV library, uh, Spring Boot, Spring Data GPA, uh, H2DB, Maven, and uh, Spring Toolsuite 4. Okay, so let's start creating project. So let's go to uh, Spring Toolsuite and uh, create one Java project. So right, this is the Spring Toolsuite. Okay, let's start creating a Spring Starter project okay so select name as a spring boot open csv let's say export also oh this is fine okay so here uh, select as a maven project jar java version as a 17 then give group name as a com dot stack same should be here this name should be copied so oh, it is automatically copied okay so it's a next so let's start adding the dependencies so spring boot version is 2.7.5 then we need a spring web so this is a spring web then we need a spring jpa spring data jpa Okay, so select Spring Data JPA. Then uh, we need a H2 database. Okay, and then we need a Open CSV. Okay, so I think Open CSV is not available with uh, Spring Toolsuite, so we will add it uh, externally manually. Okay, so let's say next and let's say finish. Okay, so our project is created. Let's verify pound.xml so we have spring version as mentioned then we have spring data jps spring starter web then we have h2 database just we need to add one library that is a open csv so go to google and type open csv <coughs> mvn like uh, we will download from mvn repository okay so select the latest version 5.7.1 okay so copy this go to dependencies and add this dependency control a control shift f in order to format the changes so we are using open csv 5.7.1 let's start creating project so now like uh, we have added this dependency now create the entity class so using like a spring jpa we need to define the entity class that is the pojo class and uh, by using this project class like uh, we are giving the ability to represent the object in the database okay so let's create this class employee as an entity so right click on this say new java class let's say employee here and here entity finish okay so copy this paste it here in order to import the packages let's say control shift o okay so it is asking for uh, package name so we have to select this javax dot persistence again javax dot persistence okay <clears throat> so what we are doing here 
So we are declaring this uh, POJO class as a, at the right entity annotation and we are giving the table name as an employee inside this employee we are uh, uh, giving some sample fields like uh, we are like generating primary key for this id so that is auto generated primary key by using generated value so provides a specific generation strategies in order to generate the primary key okay so this id is primary key and these are like uh, other fields so let's start creating greater setters and uh, constructors so first we will create the constructor go to source and uh, go to generate constructor from super class let's say generate okay so this is generated now let's generate the parameterized constructor go to source and say generate constructor form by using fields so let's deselect id as it is auto generated okay so this is the constructor it is created control a control shift f in order to format the changes now just we have to generate the getter setters so right click right click source and say generate getter setters select all let's say generate okay so our getter setters are generated now our entity class is done so now let's create the repository in order to connect with the entity class so create employee repository so this employee repository is extending from a crude repository so crude repository is a basically provides the operations like create read update and delete operations so just create this interface called as employee repository extending from crude repository okay so go here let's say new interface copy this name here home dot stack dot repository let's say finish okay let's say control shift o so we are uh, using spring data jpa so so this crude repository is from spring data jpa let's save it and uh, create employee service class so at the rate service annotation represents represents that our bean holds some business logic so we need to add some business logic in this employee service class so let's create one new class as a service let's say finish okay so copy this code let's say control shift o in order to import the packages okay so list util dot list save it so what we are doing here so we are adding some business logic so we are uh, doing auto wire to employee repository like uh, this is the repository from spring jpa that we want to use in the business logic so we are uh, using this uh, a service in order to find the employee according to its filters so here like uh, employee repository dot find all in the into the list format okay so save it and finally we need the controller also so go here and let's see let's go controllers copy this code let's say control shift o in order to import the packages okay so here we have to use spring framework headers okay <coughs> so rename this class as employee controller fine so what we are doing here so we are annotating this uh, controller as at the red controller and uh, then we are doing auto wire to employee service okay 
so we are connecting to employee service employee service will connect to repository by using entity and it will fetch data from database and it will uh, give it to controller okay so here we are adding one method in the controller uh, as a csv export as a gate mapping so here we are uh, providing http servlet response then uh, just we are adding the file name so here we are like uh, doing the main logic for uh, exporting the csv file okay by using open csv so here uh, we are sending response.state content type as a csv so we are directly downloading the csv file okay so here like uh, basically we need to follow three steps one is like uh, set the file name and content type then uh, we have to create the csv writer that is a handler to and then we have to write uh, data into csv file so here we are generating the file name as a employee hyphen data dot csv then here we are setting the content type as a text oblique csv so our file will be downloaded into csv format then we here we are setting the some headers so that is the content disposition so this is the header field name okay now here we are saying that this is the type of attachment and that file name should be this one okay now create the csv writer so this is the handler here we are using state stateful bin to csv api from the like open csv so this csv like uh, act as a java.io.writer like in the file handling so we use this api same way like uh, open csv is providing uh, like uh, writing to csv data by using this uh, api okay so here we have to give the response.gate writer it is the same like a uh, file handling just we have to uh, use the open csv api so here we have to give the with quote character so csv writer that no no quote character and this separator also so we have to separate the data into tabular format so that's why this is there and then with ordered result okay so this is optional so you can use or you cannot use also and then we have to build the stateful bin csv api from this information provided okay and finally we have to write this into a csv so i'm calling this employee service and find all method okay of this framework so this will call the repository and repository by using entity it will generate the required data okay so our setup is done so let's start the application not start so let's <coughs> give some sample data in order to generate the csv so for this okay so finally we have to create the spring boot application main class so it is already created so just we need to map some data in order to run this program and export the csv okay so copy that uh, copy the code and just paste it here so let's give the application name as a spring boot open csv and here we have to we, we are passing data from this command line so that we have to like implement the command line runner runner from the spring boot <coughs> and then just we have to import the packages let's say control shift o so we have to use util okay so what we are doing here so we are overriding this run method and uh, inside this run method so we are passing our uh, sample data so creating the sample employees so this is like uh, creating new employees like this is first name last name email and salary and id will be generated automatically so this information we are passing to repository to save this into employee object okay so our uh, everything is ready now so right click on main class and let's say run as a java application okay so it is setting like a spring jpa attributes and it is a initializing the entity manager yeah so our application is started on port 8080 so now let's copy this api endpoint 
and let's try to run this api okay localhost colon a csv export and let's say enter so we got this employee data so dot csv so it is generated exported and you can see like uh, this csv data is like uh, exported into excel sheet or csv so this is the email first name last name salary so this type of information like uh, we have passed from so this is the like uh, sorted by uh, alphabetically that's why like this order is different okay so this way like uh, we can able to export this data by using uh, open csv and uh, spring jpa so you can download the source code from the github link so that is provided into video description also and uh, stay tuned for further interesting sessions thanks a lot for watching